Hi there, welcome back to Icewind Dale. I'm Baron and Done. I made a mistake in the last video because I sold Zeldana's Done. old slaying, which was not a good idea because it's probably better than all the slings uh, that uh, Storm and Goldmond have. So, where the fuck is it? 10,000, yeah, well, sorry. So, what do you have? You have a sling plus one, see? And uh, Goldmond also has a sling plus one. Okay, then we take that instead of the sling plus one. And yeah, of course. So, yum yum yum. 50. Yeah, I don't want to talk about that. And you can get your jewelry back. <laughs> no, wait a second. Uh, all of them, actually. For the price drops. So, okay, and I lost 40,000 gold pieces in the process. But I guess that's. I'm okay, on it. We will probably get lots of money in this game, too. So, there is another house here. Well, we are, well, but there's a terrace, but, uh, you know, no. A porch, so to say, but no um, door. What? That's useless, actually. What's in here? Stop it. Oh, that appears to be the tavern. Ronald Tunnelfist. I don't. <laughs> I could make a cheap joke. Uh, I'm not gonna do it. Hi. Agreed. What you be wanting, stranger? Can't you see I be into many cups? Who are you? I be Ronald Tunnelfist of Clan Battlehammer, and who do I have the pleasure of being pestered by? I'm Stormfireblade, Ronald. It's been a pleasure to meet you. Ah, oh, your pleasure. It is to meet new friends. Now speak your mind. What you be wanting? You look like you've been seen battle recently. Yeah, like you've seen battle recently. I was about a week hence. Know you of the barbarian camp Easter here? Yeah, as I've heard that the barbarians have gathered nearby. Well, me and my fellows were sent by the clan to scout the camps. Damn savage had spotted us and set uh, on us like a pack of dogs. We were backed against the bluff with no way to run. We knew we were trapped, so we had at them. If we were to die, we were not to die alone. All my fellows fell to those savage blades. I knew my time had come and I steadied myself for their blows. Sudden like, this deep voice boops out and they steps back. A giant of a man comes forward and glares at me. Must have uh, been seven feet tall and he was wearing the marking of a king. Carried a double blade and an axe bigger than myself. What happened next? He raised his axe and swings at me, almost had me too. He was so fast with the blade, I barely raised my shield in time to block the blow. Last thing I remember was my shield shattering me falling off the bluff. I woke up in a pile of broken branches in the trees below. They must have broke me fall. I bandaged myself up and limped into town, been here ever since. Is there anything else you can tell me about the barbarians? Not a thing. Me and my followers never made it to the camp proper. Plenty of guards and a lot as well. What do you intend to do next? As soon as I'll be fit to travel, I'll report back to the clan. It be up to the clan elders what course to take next. Until then, I'll be one of the lot of my fellows. I must take my leave then. Farewell. <coughs> and what are you going to do, Ambir Dan? Hmm? Well now, aren't you a sight for tired eyes? A new face in Lonelywood, and such a handsome one too. What's your name? I'm Storm Fireblade. Who are you? I am beer done, just am beer will do. How did you get here? Are you here with one of the caravans? Who's Haley? You're Haley's mother? Haley? That thrice damned girl can't a day go by without that brat getting herself into trouble and entirely too much of her idiot father in her. I met Haley by the town well. Your son is trapped inside a well and needs your help. Oh my son, ha! Huh, fell hard for that one of the, of fell hard for one of the little lies, did you? Lies? What do you mean? I have no son. Yet the brat will tell every traveler who steps into Lonelywood her brother's fallen into the well, just to put the fear into them. Ah, sounds like Alice could use a mother's hand to guide her away from such things. Not mine. I may have birthed her, but I'll have nothing to do with her or her idiot father. By the hells, how did we even start talking about this? Uh, let's discuss it no longer. I wanted to ask you about the barbarian threat instead. 
Threat? Ha! Huh, there's no threat. The worst that could happen is that the Northmen could burn this wretched little town to the ground. Best thing that could happen to the place, if you ask me. Uh, you would be pleased if this town, your home, burned to the ground? Pleased? Nay, blessed! For then there would be nothing trapping us, any of us here. Indeed, if the barbarians attacked, they would butcher everyone in town, including your family. My family? They are already dead. Another death will not matter now. Enough of this talk of barbarians and this damn town. If you won't have a drink, then leave me to mine. <coughs> hmm, I think I would care for some wine or whatever else comes with the wine. That could be arranged, stranger, provided when you leave Lonelywood I travel with you. Are you willing to get away from your family and this town so much that you would give your body to a stranger? I would sleep with a garrison if it meant warmer climbs and an escape from this frigid hell. Hmm. No, that's not what a paladin would say. Have you no shame, woman? What happened to drive you to such a state? My husband, that fool, Tybalt, brought us here to north, promising a bright new future. Now years have passed, and yet he still labors in his shop. My daughter's a wild thing, more wolf than girl. This is not what I wished of my life. I would do anything to leave it and start anew. Hmm. Uh, so you have decided to become every man's thing in the hopes they can provide, uh, can promise you something more? You are truly a fool to surrender yourself twice. You, you don't know what it's like. You have an honest husband that does honest work, a beautiful daughter, and a home far removed from the mess of cities to the from the mess of the cities to the south, and you claim you suffer. You talk nonsense. My husband makes copper, barely enough to save from month to month, and my daughter is wilder than the barbarians. So your husband's ma my husband makes enough to save, and your daughter has the strength of a barbarian. How can you spit on such blessings? Go to your family. They need you, and you need them. Eh, hey, I... it's too late for such things. Too much damage has been done. Your place is with your family. It is not too late. Find your strength and go to them. I will try. That is all I ask. Farewell, Ambir. And we get 15,000 XP, uh, which is uh, not really much. So, can we help you too, little halfling man? How about stubble toes? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> you should marry soon and get another name. <laughs> ah, there you are. I was beginning to wonder if I had the right place. Hail, well met, and all the rubbish. The name's Double Toes. How about Double Toes? And unless I'm mistaken, you must be the legendary heroes of Icewind Dale, yes? A uh, paladin does not speak proudly of his or her deeds. Let some other take the title of hero. I have only done as my faith demands. Feh! A bunch of pony apples and goblin wine. Call yourself whatever you want. I am looking for people of extraordinary wits and resolve. Fine. We're heroes. Why is it so important to you? There's a ruined castle I know of, not far from here. Men whisper that great treasure waits inside, guarded by fell beasts and devious traps. All who have entered have, well, died. Uh, that's a very original story, friend. I suppose it's haunted too? Uh, I think you're smart, do you? Well, there's a reason you always hear stories like this. Because they're true! People say that Carl Zeta Castle just push sucks people right in. They never come out again. Where is this castle? I can't tell you. I can show you though. Listen, if you come with me, you can see for yourself. Make some money, save a few people from an awful fate, and maybe some washed up bot will write a pretty song about it. What do you say? Why do you want us to come with you? Heh, I can see those wheels turning in your mind. Maybe you are clever enough. I'm in this purely for the profit. A frugal man can live quite well off of the scrap of adventurers. Nothing wrong with that, eh? Uh, sorry, not interested. Eh, you're useless. Find some real heroes and there might be some golden for you. Farewell. Uh, wait a th second. 
I think that leads to the thingy of the lure master, uh, lure of the whatever master uh, that um, free expansion trials of the lure master or something like that. Yes, whatever you say. Can we talk to him again? Okay. Yes. Uh, I saved, right? <coughs> yeah. Uh, I don't know. I will explore the town first, and then we'll right. see. Kieran Nye, well met strangers. Welcome to the Whistling Gallows Inn. I'm Kieran Nye, proprietor of this fine establishment. How may I be of service? Well, perhaps you could answer a few questions for us. Certainly. What is it you wish to know? Your accent sounds strange. Oh, uh, you have an accent? I wasn't aware of that. Are you around? For, are you from around here? You have a keen ear, my. Observant guest, I am far from south, from Tertia to be precise. However, I have always admired the rustic beauty of the northern frontier. So I choose to make lonely wood my new home. I see. What do you know of the about, uh, about the barbarians? Blah, blah, blah. I know very little about the threat, save that I believe it is very real. A dolorous palm now hangs over the res residents of this town, bewitching them with unease. We've heard that the barbarians have a camp nearby, do you know where it is? No, but I did overhear that dwarven fellow talking about his encounter with the barbarians' scouting party. Perhaps he may know the location of their camp, you might want to ask him yourself. Okay. Okay, we already had that. The Whistling Gallows, eh? Strange name for an inn. I the strange yet well deserved. You see, the original owner of this inn was a less than reputable man who. Man? Skeld was no man, he was a brutal savage, a half ogre. He took pleasure in beating unruly patrons within an inch of their lives. Those who had the misfortune of truly upsetting the brute found themselves dancing at the end of a rope. No shit. Yes, this set that he was fond of using that that tree out front as a sort of impromptu gallows. Back then the inn was known as Skull's Place, however it didn't take long for word of Skull's cruelty to spread. Indeed, many a traveler that lodged here at the inn spent a sleepless night lying in bed listening to the eerie sound of the cold winter wind as it whistled through the frozen corpses hanging from the outside tree. However, that unfortunate business is all in the past. Skeld is dead and buried, and now I am the proprietor of this inn. The only legacy that remains of Skeld's brief yet brutal tenure is the establishment's name, the Whistling Gallows Inn. Okay. So we could buy something here, and you could get a room, I guess. Hey, stop moving. Uh, questions? Dun, dun, dun. Nothing else. Okay, I don't want to rest right now. Uh, who are you? You were interrupting our conversation. Murdo. <coughs> What's this? Why, look here, Master Kieran. It seems that Lady Tumora has blessed your coffers this season after all. This hardy band of brave looking souls will surely keep your kegs flowing well into the night. Uh, we haven't come to drink. We are on an urgent quest to prevent a war with the barbarians in these parts. Aha! A stalwart troop of courageous adventurers on a quest for honor and glory. Quest for glory? No, that's something different. Oh, but a nice game. Yeah, If you like adventures or RPGs, you should try those. Uh, it's a nice mixture of RPG and um, adventure. I was once like you, full of fire and spirit. These days I'm content to simply be full of drink. Or full of spirit, so to say. You speak rather well for a man who admits to being a drunkard. Who are you? My name is Murdo of Orkney, wandering bard and failure extraordinaire. Welcome to Lonelywood. It's a pleasure to meet your acquaintance. Well met, Murdo. Uh, perhaps you could tell us of the recent going ons in this part of the dale? As you wish. What is it that you wish to know? Uh, well, what do you know about the barbarians? This is no rumor. There have been numerous reports of a huge army of tribesmen moving southward into the Dale. I assure you, the threat that the barbarians pose to Lonelywood and the rest of the town is very real. Uh, we've heard the barbarians have a camp nearby, do you know where it is? I can't say that I do, however, yeah, the dwarf knows. Thanks. Uh, we'd like to know more about the town. Oh, wait, is there anything else? Blah, blah, blah. Why would the barbarians 
raise an army against the Tantons. The barbarians have long been at odds with the Tantons since the first settlers arrived in the Dale. The events of late are simply a prelude to another bloody chapter in the history of Icewind Dale. Uh, things seem pretty quiet around here. Shouldn't the town be preparing for an attack? The barbarians at that gate upon this town, I fear there's little we could do to stop them. When and if the attack comes, we will fight till the end. However, with the mere handful of swords we can muster, it'll be like attempting to halt an avalanche with a whisper. Uh, what about the other towns? Uh, surely they would send aid? Lonely Wood is far too remote and insignificant a community to warrant the protection of the larger towns. Though, if war comes, they'll scurry to the safety of their own walls and watch as the barbarians burn Lonely Wood to the ground. Well, what a lovely prospect then. Um, I would like to know more about the town of Lonely Wood. Um, there isn't much to tell, really. Lonely Wood is the northernmost of the ten towns. It is also one of the smallest settlements in the Dale. The folk that lived here have mostly, are mostly common tradesmen seeking to earn a living away from the fierce competition between the larger towns. Is there a place to buy weapons and equipment? There are no black blacksmiths in town, but Emmerich may be able to furnish you with weapons and equipment. He's a boyer by trade. His cabin is in the south uh, eastern corner of town. I see. Let me ask you something else. Tim, 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 Tim. Where I can find a priest? Yeah, well, they found him. Thank you. Is that all you can do? Yes. Bye. But there's a door. <coughs> What's on the other side of it? Okay. Ooh. Oh, yeah, it's a, a hobbit home, so they have round doors, I guess. It's freaking locked. So my ah, friend yeah, and thief, uh, look for traps. One, ah, two, yes. three, four, five, six. Awesome. What's in there? A mage robe. So many jobs, so yep. little time. Various reagents and bits of arcane lore clutter this table. Time. Ooh, what's that here? A nice spell. Get back. A rope of the neutral archmage I You have to be a neutral mage to use that. Uh -huh. armor class of five. Armor class of three. Hmm. Skip it. And what else did we find? Oh yeah, a spell. It's a spell a seven eyes. What does it do? The spell conjures forth seven magical orbs that float in a ring above the caster's head. Each eye has a defensive and offensive ability, though once either one is used, the eye will lose its power. Any subsequent castings of seven eye will fail if cast before the expiration time. Whether or not any eyes remain, the power of each eye are described below. Okay, it's a level seven spell. <laughs> Can you actually use that? Oh, I think it, yeah, the, the Ring of Wizardry is awesome. No, I, oh, I actually have level 7 spells. I even have level 8 spells and level 9 spells. Mm, nim, 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 nim. What level are you anyway? Level 14, um, level 17, level 15, and level 13. I guess that would be enough for the Lure Master thingy. What? I'll handle it. Um. We shall see. There's nothing here. <clears throat> so, well, that appears to be, you know, like a mage is living here. Maybe that. Hey, what the fuck? Come back. So, there's gotta be a mage somewhere. Is there a hidden uh, a door hidden behind the mirror in your bedroom? Shh! Lower your voice, please. I have gone to great lengths to keep that room a secret. Behind the door are the remnants of a life I wish to leave behind. Do you understand? No, I don't understand. What are you talking about? I see you won't be satisfied until you've pried the secret from me. Very well. If you must know, I am an exile from an organization so paranoid and extreme that they would slay me for daring to break... Uh, from their tentacular grasp. 
This organization is known as the Host Tower of the Arcane. Based in Luskin, they are a group of malefic wizards bent on gaining personal power at all costs. I quickly grew tired of their scheming and deigned to leave. Even now they search for me. I hide here in the hope that, the, that I can lead a life as carefree as these settlers. Please, my friend, do not tell a soul of my past. You can count on me, Kiran. In exchange for your silence, you have my eternal gratitude. In addition, I can give you access to some rare and powerful magical devices that I have gathered over the years. Right, well, let's see what you have. The Dagger of Safe Harbor. It's a plus three dagger. And it costs a uh, multi look resilient sphere once per day. <clears throat> I don't need a dart. Uh, what's the flank skull do? When thrown at a target, the skull streak force and explode for 48 damage, harming everyone within 5 feet. A victim can make a saving throw versus breath to take half the damage. Okay, but it's just, if you use it, it's gone probably. A uh, trim extract. If the user fails a save versus death at minus 4, they take. 8 to 48 points of fire damage. If the user makes the save, cold resistance set to 100 for. for forget it. Uh, Jameson's Sling? It's a plus 4 weapon. It may be even better than the sling we have. Buy it. Magic Missile, Chromatic Orb, Blur, Stinking Cloud, Haste, Lightning Bolt, Cloud Kill, Lance of Disruption. I have no idea. What do we need here? <clears throat> Buy. Oh, seven eyes. We already have that. Ding ding. Oh, contact other plane. We already had that. That's pretty useless. Shout. Fusion. Lines of disruption. Cloud kill. We have. I know for sure. Protection. Normal missiles. We have. Haste. I think we have the rest. Buy it. Okay. Oh, I could have sold the hmm, <coughs> the rope there. Doesn't matter. So that's uh, 4 plus 4, and that is 3 plus 5. I guess it equals out. Nah, uh, it's a plus 4 weapon. It's better. So, ding. How do you like them at this? Now you have a 3 and 5 sling, and you have a 2 and 3 sling. Now we have good slings. Already have that, already have that, already have that. Already have that. Don't have that. Don't have that. And don't have that. Okay, the rest can be sold again. Um, to them. Oh, he doesn't buy that. Nothing in here, right? Okay. Nice. I say we go upstairs now. That's where we came from. Okay. Looks like somebody's sleeping here. Your wishes? Maybe we I should guess. send a thief ahead. Get in here. Nothing. Oh, what's that? Arrows and gems? Nothing. Okay. <laughs> One gold coin. Awesome. Yeah, um, <laughs> I will take it nevertheless. You can never have too much money, but you can have enough. I think we have enough. Oh, hi. Locked. Trapped. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Not trapped. Okay. And in here. What's that? Traveler's robe. So, uh, who was sleeping anyway?
I don't see anybody here. Well, okay. But there's the sound of a guy sleeping, but I don't see the guy, actually. Oh, there he is. Who is that? A sleeping dwarf. Um... I could try to... Uh, oh no, wait. Can I pickpocket you? Apparently I can't. Okay. So, um... <coughs> what's that? Translocation arrows. Nah, I don't want that. Wait. And what's that? Oil of speed and a rogue stone. Ready. Agreed. Ready. Oh yeah, talking about pickpockets. Um, I am. We could try something here. Should we do? We save and try to pick your pocket. What did we get? Ring of greater resistance. Armor class bonus plus two. Uh, 25% crushing resistance and a uh, plus three save versus spells. Awesome. Uh, do you have anything else? I had nothing to steal. <coughs> nothing to steal. Okay, uh, who is wearing a ring of protection? Reckless action or free action? Uh, ring of holiness? Dang it. I guess nobody can actually use that ring, is that right? Yeah, we all... <laughs> okay. Because everyone has already magical armor. Well, ain't that a bitch. Here. Can't be helped, I guess. Agreed. So... Let's move on then. Okay, I was in here. That's the temple of Joaquin. Okay. Done. There's another hut. Get in. Who are you? Purvis. Got it. Who needs a hole? Uh, no, you need a hole? Uh, I beg your pardon? I dig hole for you. I dig's good, good and deep, so there's no stink. Uh, maybe some other time. Right now, we'd like to ask you some questions. See the grave dig or what? Questions? I know nothing. I just dig's holes. You need holes? Uh, have you received a sharp blow to the heads recently? Huh? Never mind. Yeah, never mind. Um, nim, 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 nim. Go ahead. Yeah, try to pick Easily his pockets. Done. What do we get? A ring of free action. Awesome. Okay, so I guess I'm gonna give it to her. Because she can't use the ring of free action because he has those boots of speed. I'm here. No, you should save. And is there of anything what else? Do you need me now? I guess. Nothing to Orders? Steal. So I guess. There's nothing to do in here. I'll handle it. Just steal his ring of reaction and get the fuck out of there. I'm on it. Oh, okay. Another dead end, apparently. I was in here. Okay, 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 okay. What's that? Nothing. Take a look at the map. <clears throat> Still didn't find the father of that girl. You know, we already found her mother and sent her back. Oh, no, wait. What's up? Oh, the, you can't walk across that. I didn't see that. It appears to be some sort of wall. Okay, another dead end. And there's another house. Um, who are you? 
table done. Oh, that's the farm. Let's do it. Hold on, be with you in a moment. Uh, I just need to set this last piece here. What are you doing? Trying to set this hoop to the barrel before the metal cools. But the damn thing's uh, stubborn. Ah, there it is. Now, name's done, table done. Haven't seen you around before. What do you want? Table done, eh? I spoke to your wife at the inn. My wife, yes. She said she'd spoken to some newcomer in town. That must have been you. I don't know what you said to her, but, well, things should be different around here. Thank you. You're welcome. Can you tell me anything of the barbarian threat to Lonelywood? The barbarian threat, yes. Rumor has it they are preparing for war. Their numbers are said to be great. Uh, much more than the ten towns can hope to defeat. If they fall upon us, the battle shall be a short one. But enough about what might be. If there's nothing else you need, I have work to do. I came across Haley at the town well. The damned girl! She was supposed to have been home hours ago to help with these casks. You see, I can't tell her to come home or, read or it'll be the birch stick for her. Why do you let your daughter run around telling tales? Let her? She's more willful than her mother. I barely have time to make ends meet, much less keep them both in line. But enough about my family. If there's nothing else you need, I have work to do. Oh, I might be in need of supplies. What is this place? It's my shop. I'm a copper. I make barrels. I don't need barrels. Why? You with one of the caravans? Because if you are, then you have no business with me until you've traded words and gold with Baldemar. Who he's the one to speak to, not I. Who is Baldemar? So you haven't heard of Baldemar? You are new here. Baldemar is Lonelywood's council rep representative. So? Uh, what does being a council representative have to do with you and I doing business? As council representative, Baldemar has taken it upon himself to re represent all the tradesmen of Lonelywood in dealing with the caravans, a profitable position. I still see no reason as to why Baldemar should have taken such a role. Reason? There's no reason to it. He loves gold as much as any man. He saw an opportunity and he took it. And uh, could you get out from Baldemar's influence, strike out on your own? That would only serve to ruin me. The few contracts Baldemar tosses my way is all that keeps my family fat and a roof over our heads. The moment I raise my voice against Baldemar's generosity, he will see to it I no longer see another caravan contract again. Surely he wouldn't just cast you out. There must be room for bargaining. No, Baldemar prefers to settle matters quickly and quietly. He finds bargaining tiring and in truth he is poor at it. But don't take my take it at my word, the other representatives of the Ten Towns know it as well. What do you mean? When the towns heard of the trouble with the barbarians, they sent their own speaker to deal with the bribes rather than chance of war to Baldemar's diplomatic skills. A speaker from the Ten Towns? When was this? Not long before your arrival, he was a tall man, a southerner like yourself, wearing fine clothes and a patch over one eye. What, a pirate? Arr, 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 mateys! <laughs> Why is the rum gone? No. He stayed with Baldemar for a few nights, then left. At first I thought he was a merchant, but he spoke uh, to none of the other tradesmen in town, including myself. If he spoke to none of you, then how do you know he was from the Ten Towns? Well, I, well, I, ass I had assumed as much. Why else should he be here? Hmm, good question. One I should ask Baldemar. I must take my leave now, Tybalt. So what's on the other side of that door, I wonder? Another door. Who would have guessed? Oh, that's the woman again, I guess. Anything in here? No. Ah, but, uh, okay. He may be poor, but we still can loot you. Your belongings. Oh, what's that? Boots. I take your boots. I'm listening. These boots are I'm made for walking. That is what they do. One of these days, these boots are gonna walk all over you. So there's Ambir again. Your words struck me deeply, stranger. For your sake, for my family's sake, I will try to make things better with this household. That's all I ask. Farewell, Ambir. So, we found some boots. Boots of the North. Uh, cold resistance plus 50%. Who hasn't any boots? Oh, everybody can use boots then. <sighs> um, yum, yum. I'm giving it to a storm. 
You have my attention. Okay, and I guess it's time, so we will take a break again. If everyone will actually move out of here. So, thank you very much for watching, and see you soon. Bye.